Y'all don't y'all don't read the handbook. There's always there's there's always policies in place. And then when you get uh uh hemmed up in the safety department and the safety lady tells you, "Oh, okay, well we're going to let you go because of uh because of this that and the third." And you sitting there like all confused and shit like, "Oh, well wait, I I didn't do nothing. Trust me, I've been there. I I was that person. I I didn't do nothing. I didn't know that uh I I didn't know, but they'll turn back to you and be like, "Did you read handbook?" Uh Did you read handbook? Um well I I I didn't get a chance. Well, I I read some parts of the of the handbook. It's all in the handbook. But did you read the whole handbook. No. Well, on page 10, session 444, uh, subplot nine, intertwined six, it says right here down at the bottom that yes, you will get terminated for, you know, for what we terminating you for. Oh, uh, hmm. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> Hmm. Well, why? Yeah, that that part. That's how I, that that part right there. That's how I was like, wow. Um, hmm. and I, I and I ain't had nothing else to say. I had to I had to accept my fate, pack up my truck. Dude gave me twenty four hours to get out, and and that was it. People don't read the handbook. How do you know that? It's in the handbook. They don't. They they don't read. They they don't read the handbook. When you, when, if you get, if you get hooked up with somebody that's selling you a dispatching course or a turnkey business or selling you something that, that, that made them money and you trying to hop on the bandwagon of trying to be where they're at, they are gonna give you some type of paperwork that you're gonna have to sit there and read. And if you get into a business like that, if you get into a business like that, you need to take that same paperwork to a lawyer or or to a, 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 a person that can help you understand what you about to get into. And that's, and, and that's the thing, and that's the, that's the trouble part with some of these people getting the trouble with. They sign these, these, these contracts, these paperwork, without knowing the whole shebang. This like now, like, like, like how old school rappers sit down with these new school rappers and they tell them about the business because they know they've been there. They signed those those two cent contracts without knowing. Now they're smart enough, they're they're experienced enough to know like, hey, before you sign anything, you might want to get a lawyer, an entertainment lawyer. You might want to get a an attorney or somebody that knows what to look for to sign before you sign but yet y'all so engulfed in in the glitz and the glamour of what the gurus are are selling on their on their instagram on their TikToks, on their uh uh platforms y'all so involved with that y'all just want to hurry up and go there and just sit there and this that and the third and try to make and, and try to make money without even knowing the background. Y'all don't do no research. Y'all see a guru right here on Instagram talking about, yo, I can show you how to get in the trucking business and run a trucking company without without owning no trucks. That's that part right there. You know, or or run a dispatching company with just a calculator, computer and the internet. Or, or or a turnkey business let them do everything for you and all you got to do is invest and sit back and, and and collect the money which never comes 
Y'all don't do y'all research on these people. Who, who, who is, who is the trucking guru? Who is Alex good money or good energy? Who is, uh, 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 whoever, who is them? What's their background? Where they came from? I'm going to take a word. Is they, is they liquid? Is they solid? Is they verified? You know, you know, nowadays people can buy, people can buy uh, that blue check mark now. You know, that, that little blue check mark that be on the side of the, yeah, that be on the side of their names on, 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 uh, on social media, that little blue check mark that's, that, that says that they supposed to be verified. You know, you can buy that, right? I mean, Elon Musk over at Twitter says, says that you, if you want to be verified, give me about two, three, four hundred dollars and I can get you verified. You know, people, you know, people is buying that, right? So you, so you got to do some, you got to do some soul searching, some digging, some research on this person or persons that you want to get involved with. See, modern times now it's easy for people of hip hop to get in hip hop because they don't need the they don't need to go to bad boy they don't need to go to death row they don't need to go to rock nation they can do all that stuff themselves right here on the internet that's how my cousin got noticed my cousin been doing music for years my uh my little cousin he was 16 years old when he got signed to uh when he got signed to money bags 16 and they and you want to know what they found him he didn't find it he been putting music on his uh spotify on his uh on his uh soundcloud for years one day one day he had this beat uh money money bag yo or whatever his name is says somebody gave him gave him that beat he heard it he went back and did his research to find out that my cousin was the one that produced it and he's only 16 years old um uh, one of the things you did i thought was cool was you you, you um drum is his name drum guy drum guy yeah, yeah from the, cleveland yeah, cleveland the dude is like 16 now. 16 now? Wow. Yeah, 16. You signed him as a producer, right? Most or definitely. At what age? F uh, 15. He was 15. 15. Yeah, he just wow. had a birthday. How did you so. find this kid? Uh, He was just, like, I was going through my email. Uh-huh. I don't really go through my email, so one day I was going through my email, and I was just clicking. I couldn't find no piece. I was like, man, let me see what he's talking about. This drunk guy. Uh -huh. So I clicked on it. You know what I'm saying? I got the vibe with it. I was like, oh, this one of them junk. Uh -huh. So I had ended up dropping it. Then when I dropped it, I was in that mode and I, I went back in the email. He had like 15 more in there. Uh -huh. So I went in there. Like, even with reset, like, he on like probably, what, 80% of that project? Uh -huh. So it's just like I was just rocking with him. He had that sound that I was looking for. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So, Kid I was 15, like, we got to go find him. You, the Forever Let's Heartless see what project? He got going. Which project? The Forever Heartless project? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he did he did my, most of that too, but before uh -huh. that, he did Reset. That's when I okay, first. Okay, Reset. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I first got with him. All right, man. Money back, y'all was here, man. Let's do this one. He got in contact with his father, my first cousin. Shout out to LeBron. That's my ace. I love that boy to the day I die. Moneybag reached out to him. They had a conversation with each other because he had to talk to the father first. Regardless of the fact that if 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 my cousin was even older than that, he still had to go through, he still had to go through his father. His father did what he's supposed to do. He went and did his research on the guy. Oh, okay, this is Moneybag Yo. Okay, Moneybag Yo, one of the uh, top hip hop artists, did that in the third. And he tried, and he made sure that he was liquid before he even gave the phone to my cousin. That's what you guys need to do. 
Y'all need to stop with this shortcut shit. Stop trying to get in here and, 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 and try to think y'all gonna get rich quick and do some fucking homework. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all need to research. Y'all need to read. Y'all need to go back and, and, and go back into the archives. That's what y'all need to do. Y'all can't just let one video of a guru just tell you how they did it. And now, and now you, you, oh, okay. Well, that's my guy. That's my girl. That's this. It's the same thing with my subscribers and everything. I keep, like I tell them, I say, look, I'm just the ordinary guy. I don't know you. But, you know, people on the internet is quick to turn around and be like, oh, that's my guy. That's my girl. That's my boy. That's this. I'm, I'm, only, I'm, I'm only giving you a persona, bro. You don't know me in real life. You don't know me in real life. When have anybody ever heard me say, oh, well, you know, that's, that's my boy. That's my guy. I'd say my guy. But that doesn't mean that we're we're friends. Everybody think everybody is fucking friends on the uh on social media or on the internet, and we're not. Zip it. We're not friends. Everybody thinks everybody is friends on on social media, and they're not. We're not friends anymore. You don't know me just like I don't know you. I don't know you. You don't know me. So by me saying, oh, I love you and this, that, and the third or whatever, whatever, I, I I can't take no valid in that. You can you can like what I do, and I appreciate that. You can like what I what I bring to you, and I appreciate that. That's what you do. You you that's what you do, that's what you can only do. Now, this like that catfish series on MTV where 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 people is is getting hemmed up from people over the Internet. You know, it's like catfishing, you know, it's, it's like that. Y'all talk for years without even knowing each other. Y'all see some pictures here and there, but you, you don't do the research. You don't do the background. You don't do you don't do none of that. And then five or six years later, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all never met. Y'all never, y'all, y'all never met. Y'all never seen each other in real life. So you decide to call some dude to help. He has to go and do all the work for you and all like that. Trying to, trying to find out if that other person is verified. Only to come to find out is that they're not verified. They've been you you've been talking to chatty Ch chatty betty or 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 big face mo or some dude in a basement that don't have a life himself y'all y'all need to verify these people man y'all need to verify these people but you need to be rested as well that's what it's all about you know, y'all, y'all run out, y'all click up, y'all, y'all post up, y'all meet up and all like that. But y'all only meet up one time and then y'all best friends. We're not friends. You didn't verify me. You didn't do your research about me. Since we're not friends and you hate baseball, why the fuck are you here? Read the fine print before you get involved with anything, any job, anybody. If you're coming into the trucking industry and you get hired on with that trucking company, read the policy handbook. Read that. Don't just say, oh, okay, I'm just gonna read a little bit of it and sign it and then I'm gonna come back later and then something happens to you and you sitting there looking all dumbfounded because you getting fired for a one and done situation. Did you read the handbook? It's in the handbook, right? Use your head. Everything that everything that a company is bound by is in the handbook. I'm sure it says in the handbook that we handle everything that's on board. Whoa, there's a handbook? Read 
The handbook. If you're getting involved with a company, read the handbook. You getting involved with somebody you don't know, try to research them. Try to research them. I mean, if they've been on, if they've been online selling their courses and everything, it, 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 it has to be a backlog. How do you know that? It's in the handbook. Again, like I said, on social media, it's easy for them to control their page. Stuff that they don't want out there, they're going to take it off their page. Hopefully somebody else was able to probably screen record it or, 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 or talked about it or whatever the case. Search for them. Search for them. That's what you got to do. You got to make sure that they're solid. You got to make sure that they're liquid. You got to make sure that they're verified before you get involved. Again, like I said before, is it is it their fault that you got involved with them and it didn't work out the way you wanted to work out because you didn't take the time to 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 verify them? It's all in the handbook. Try to find out who they are. When you see somebody online trying to sell a course or or, or a cup or tumbler or whatever the case that they're selling see what they're selling is verified can can you get a hold of them if something goes wrong a lot of these people been scammed throughout the dawn of time scamming is nothing new hustling is nothing new it's been going on for years when people trying to figure out how to make money and how to make money quick and how they did it then it's gonna it's it's gonna attract you. You gotta make sure that number one, if you can do it, because not everybody could do what everybody do. He's a hustler. A lot of people can't be a cop. A lot of people can't be truck drivers. A lot of people can't be landscapers. A lot of people can't be turnkey owners. A lot of people can't be dispatchers. You got to see if that will work for you. You got to see if you yourself, you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, is this something that I can do? I was a hustler, but then for some reason, I was really good with numbers. And if you say no, then don't try to push yourself to do it. Just because you looked at your father's settlement check from trucking and he made a he made a hundred K doesn't mean that you're going to make 100k but what you got to do is you got to go to the mirror and look at yourself and say hey ask yourself these questions can i be away from home can i if i have a family can i be away from my family for a certain length of time can i get used to living on the road can i get used to sleeping in the back of a truck can I get used to community showers? And if you answer yes is the answer to your question. That is something that you can do. And that from that point is when you do your research. If you like the persona of Lockout Man, make sure you hit that like button because that's what it is. That like button. You like what we doing over here? Make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's what it is. If you want to get in contact with me and talk to me in the background, text me. The text number is in the description. If you appreciate what I do over here and what I bring to you from the Lockout Men podcast slash recruiter call channel, then subscribe, follow, rock with me.